Luke Radowski, 19 years old, listener of mine, becomes politically active. Four or five years later, has a national TV show on RT, a contributor, his own radio show, has hundreds and hundreds of We Are Change chapters around the country, around the world, fighting the, the fake global warming fraud, false flag terror, all of it. They're not liberal. They're not conservative. They're about justice. They're about studying issues and fighting the globalist agenda. And he went in and confronted Bernanke. He's confronted hundreds of globalists. I mean, you name it, he's done it. But now he does it as a reporter. And we're going to play a short clip of him talking to Ben Bernanke, uh, this mobster in chief, the real president of America, illegitimately. Then we're going to go to Luke and talk about some of the other work he's doing as a shining testament and example to what you can do when you take action. And I'm very proud of the fact that so many trailblazers have grown from this show. And my example, though it's my example certainly isn't perfect, uh, and, and, and that those that were examples for me, because you can kill Alex Jones, you can kill Luke Radowski, you can't kill ideas. You can't kill information. No army can stop an idea whose time has come. And the restoration of liberty and truth and justice is back. It's back in style. There's hundreds of mainstream news articles the last two weeks, more than hundreds, attacking myself and saying, why are conspiracy theories so popular? Why does he have now, I don't even want to tell folks, it's like five million a day now, listeners. I mean, we, it, we're... I'm getting so successful, the globalists don't want to crush me because if they do, it'll highlight everything I've said and done. But if they don't, I'm just going to keep growing. You know what? Full speed ahead. You can't stop the idea. But here's that short clip, and we're going to Luke. Here it is. Finally, finally, I've been able to get Ben Lucifer Bernanke himself today. Very fitting when everybody's struggling in this economy, struggling to survive, struggling to pay their mortgage, to even have food. Ben Bernanke's out celebrating at this huge gala event with all these rich, elite, powerful people drinking this, all this expensive alcohol and eating all this expensive food. Meanwhile, there's children starving. And uh, I decided to play it smart, and that's why I came up to him many times, pretending to take pictures for about 30 minutes, and then I just, I just couldn't take it anymore, and I, I, just, I just had to, I, I had to get him. Hey, Ben, just really quick, what'd you do at the 2008 Bilderberg meeting? I'm not doing any press today. It was discussed that's where they uh, just plan to destroy the economic, uh, American, American economy due to a mall. I mean, what'd you do at the Bilderberg Group? I'm not doing any press today. No questions? No. What'd you do there? All we want to know. When are you going to apologize for destroying this economy, Mr. Bernanke? That's a very simple question. What did you do at the Bilderberg meeting? Of course, you don't want to answer that question because in 2008 in Chantilly, Virginia, at the elitist Bilderberg meeting, a mole came out right afterwards and said you guys were planning to destroy the U.S. economy, the U.S. dollar, to bring in a one-world government currency. And that's exactly what happened after your meeting in June of 2008. All right, that's now, enough. You can see the whole video at wearechange.org or infowars.com. But the issue here is 2006, 7, 8, 9, right through, we're able to predict exactly what they're going to do via our moles. And I was there. And we just, if you're a prisonplanet.tv viewer, we just showed the video of Bernanke driving in and out. And we had U.S. Army in plain clothes harassing us, threatening us. It was hellish to just be there and show Obama and Hillary in there secretly at the meeting. The rest of the U.S. media not knowing where they disappeared for that day. We're calling ABC, NBC going, hey, the, you want to know where Hillary and them are? They're right here. <laughs> the Japanese media did show up. And then, <laughs> it's that, that's how controlled the press is. I mean, you got 125 global leaders. you got the Queen of the Netherlands, Henry Kissinger in there, Secretary of State in there. And uh, they didn't want to know. And we came out and said, okay, they're about to implode the economy. Here's how they're going to do it. They're going to want a banker bailout. Then they'll announce a world government, which they've now done. But the yuppies were told world government doesn't exist. So they're going to at least try to help Bernanke bring us down because they hate their children. They hate freedom. They like feeling like they're part of the establishment. Uh, Luke, uh, great job. Uh, t uh, obviously, you shot great high def video of, uh, of of him walking around, you know, w with the other globalist in there, the other parasite uh, globalist. Uh, but uh, what else happened behind the scenes? I mean, as soon as I started asking the question, I had one goon put his hands on me. Then he put a second hand in the in the middle. He tried to push me out of there. I just remember standing my ground until the second uh, goon came around. Grabbed, they both grabbed my arms. 
and they literally had to drag me out of there. I really didn't want to leave because I just wanted to have a conversation and ask these people questions. If these people had nothing to hide, if these people weren't doing something wrong, they would just simply answer the question. And when they don't, that's when it's skeptical. That's when we have to see that there's something wrong with this puzzle, and that's when we have that's to demand right. answers. Real reporters ask serious questions. What'd you do at the secret meeting? We shot video of you there. You bullhorned them. I bullhorned them. Here we are years later in the aftermath. You're asking a real question. You're supposed to just go to press conferences and take whatever he vomits on you and then repeat it to everyone. How dare you ask him a real question? That is so evil. I mean, I've been down here in Washington, D.C., and it's been amazing. I mean, just this week, I'm going to be releasing videos me confronting General Hayden, the former CIA and NSA head, about privacy rights. I talked to Senator Lieberman about Alawaki having dinner at the Pentagon. He himself said he would look into it. I'm going to be releasing video of Prodigy of Mob Deep, an interview I did with this. Tell you what, stay there. Let's, let's, yeah. let, let's talk about briefly some of the folks you've confronted. Uh, you got uh, Gary Hart to admit our government does stage terror attacks, and, that, and he basically threatened Iran with that. Then let's talk about some of the new confrontations and what you're doing. This is what the media should be doing, but they're too busy lying. By the way, here's the kind of news that's in my stack that I haven't gotten to. Headline, schools arrange secret abortions, parents outraged, and they're having a straight-faced national debate in New Zealand about is it okay that they take... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16-year-old girls, and the school helps them get an abortion and teaches them how to not tell mommy and daddy. See, that's about the state running your children and carrying out the population reduction on them. Well, Americans don't even get mad. Schools all over the U.S. take kids to get abortions, and Americans say, hey, you own my kid. I'm here to produce babies for the state, land of the free, home of the brave. <laughs> the TSA is like, that's right, we're sticking our hands on your one-year-old's pants. We own your family. Now get your wife over here, teach her to submit. And if you don't like it, a SWAT team standing by. <sighs> you better learn to submit to us. All right, I want to jam in some final calls. Finishing up with Luke, uh, you're going to be traveling to Europe. going to be reporting for us uh, from Bilderberg in Switzerland. Uh, doing a great job. Uh, uh, that, that was big news you mentioned before the break. You say you talked to... Uh, a top globalist, and said you want an investigation of Anwar al-Awlaki, the admitted uh, number two guy, head of al-Qaeda, secretly hanging out at the Pentagon getting orders, source Fox News. And uh, did, 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 did I hear you right? You said Herr Lieberman? Yeah, Senator Lieberman said he's going to look into the al thing. I talked to him twice when I was here in Washington, D.C. I'm going to be releasing the video later this week. Tomorrow I'm releasing an interview with Prodigy of Mob Deep. Alex, you got to have this guy on your, on your show. He's amazing. He's a Grammy Award-winning hip-hop artist, a hip-hop legend. I'm going to also be releasing uh, videos with Larry Flint. Right now I'm in Atlanta. I'm going to be speaking with you know Cynthia McKinney, Richard Gage, and April Gallup. Yeah, you got an interview with Larry here. Flint? Yeah, Larry Flynn actually gave me an interview down here in Washington, D.C., so that's going to be releasing later on this week on our YouTube channel. You know, I got called by his people and said, you ought to put the request in, he might do it, and I never did it. I mean, I don't really approve of overall what's going on in the magazine, but it's a place to get our articles published. They published quite a few of our Infowars.com articles, but uh, <laughs> Larry Flynn, I'd like to get him on. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he's a very interesting freedom fighter as well, fighting for the First Amendment. But right now I'm in Atlanta. I'm going to be speaking at We Are Change Atlanta's event with April Gallup, Cynthia McKinney, and Richard Gage. Next week I'm starting my Euro tour. I'm going to be at the G8 in France. I'm going to be at the Bilderberg in Switzerland. I'm going to be speaking for the Sovereign Independent in Ireland, Scotland, and England. Then I'm going to be going all over Europe so people could contact me, get on my Facebook and Twitter to see exactly what I'm up to. But a lot of developments are, are breaking as they happen. I'm going to be there live on the scene reporting for you. For everybody else, and uh, I hope people pay attention to. And you gave me some happening. bad news. The WeAreChange.org is being is being hacked. Where you can't even keep the site up. I'll have to get you on the phone with my IT guys. But it was you who got me in contact with a uh, well known IT expert that found stuff that we hadn't even found. He hit one button and was shutting our site off just to show it. So I think you need to. We need to give you the number of the guy that you gave us, and he'll he'll be able to find the holes. Uh, in your system. Yeah, that's my friend from Federal Jack. Uh, he tried to help us out. He even couldn't you know, find out exactly what's happening with our website. So if he doesn't know, I'm kind of worried myself. So. Well, have you moved to different servers? 
Uh, yeah, we changed servers. We gotta, we gotta find. I, I don't know. I gotta find somebody to do this because. Well, I you're gonna have to just it. launch on an, on a whole other URL and whole other platform. Yeah, I'm most likely gonna do that. But right now, people could find me on my Facebook, which is you know Luke at We Are Changed. Hey, you know the good news? Twitter. What are there over 200 other chapters globally with their own websites? Sorry, yeah. the, sorry, it's already gone viral. You're not going to stop any of us. <laughs> 240 chapters worldwide, Alex Jones. It's insane. Well and I done. can't believe so many other people are fighting for truth and justice. And, and this is really the turning point right now where we all take action, take steps. And there's going to be so many of us at the, the, the Bilderberg meeting in Switzerland. I just can't wait to be there to bullhorn these evil criminals and to let them know that we're not going down without a fight. We're not going to go down silently. We, we deserve better. We as humanity will prevail, and they have nothing nothing going for them. We have everything going for us, and it's only a matter of time until we start winning. Well, you're just doing an incredible job, Luke, and you're inspiring countless others after you, and they can't stop the signal. They can't stop the truth. They can't stop the idea. And, uh, Luke, uh, God bless you. Great job, and I can't wait to have you reporting for us. We're going to have Jim Tucker on as well, who's got real moles inside, incredible intel uh, coming up in, in June for Bilderberg. And we'll obviously talk to you before then. Uh, be safe there uh, in that den of uh, iniquity, D.C. No problem. I'm in Atlanta right now, so I hope everybody comes out to all these events and checks us out and, and uh, participates. So just get involved, get active, and become the change you want to see in this world. Do you all like right. Luke, so. you're awesome. We'll talk to you again soon.